In this session, we'll explore how to create a one-point perspective sketch from the ground up, starting with a template flow plan. So in Mofudio Trace, I start with a blank project. First, we'll take a look at the flow plan, which is an approximately 3 by 3 meter bathroom. We will view the scene from the door wall towards the bathtub wall. So we'll start by plotting the back wall. And since the wall is 3 meters wide and approximately 3 meters high, we will draw a square. And then we'll divide both the width and height into 3 equal sections, assuming each part measuring 1 meter. Next, I'll place the horizon line at 1.5 meters and mark the vanishing point in the center of the line. I will now select the perspective tool from the top bar and choose the one point perspective option. I will turn off the guide tool since I only use the assist tool which automatically sets up your grid lines and helps you draw the conversion lines of the perspective quickly. So we now have the back wall, the side walls, the ceiling and the floor. Next, we'll draw the floor grid to plot the layout according to measurements. We will now draw uh, the picture plane and conversion lines from the vanishing point. Now I'll draw a diagonal line from the corner of this line to the opposite corner of the back wall. And wherever this diagonal line intersects the flow lines, we'll draw parallel lines to the horizon line, creating a 1 meter by 1 meter flow grid. We now have all the measurement points on both the height and floor, which will guide us in plotting the layout. So I'll reduce the opacity of this layer and then create a new layer. Now I will mark the position of the bathtub on the floor. We will now turn on the perspective tool and draw boxes on the floor along with the depths and niches in the wall according to the floor plan. Thus, using the perspective tool and our measurement grid, we can accurately plot the layout according to the plan. Using the points marked on the back wall for height, we can now extend the lines upward and draw the bounded boxes for all the elements on the plan. Now that the boxes are drawn, we'll create a new layer to complete the final line work. To draw the bathtub, I'm going to use the protractor tool from the top toolbar and squeeze it into the shape of an ellipse and draw the curves for the bathtub.
I'm again going to use the protractor tool to draw the oval shape of the mirror. Next, I'll adjust the smoothness slider in the breast settings to uh, complete uh, neatly the oval shape. Now we'll clean up all the unnecessary lines and finalize the view. Let's add the final details like the floor and uh, the wall lights to complete the view and then proceed to rendering it. Now that the pencil work is complete, I'll create a new layer once again. So I'll start by using the roller brush to quickly fill in the large areas. I typically lower the opacity of the color and layer it to achieve a darker shade. This technique helps create smoother transitions and also allows for more control over the final look. I use the eraser tool and the selection tools to remove the areas that don't need color. Now with the ultra fine marker brush, I will sketch the uh, joints and textures of the tiles on the back wall. To render the bathtub, we will outline the shape and add shading for curves and reflections and highlight the areas where light hits the tub. I'm using the color pick tool to select the wall tile color and then applying it to the larger areas with the roller brush. I'm going to use a black background for the recessed wall part and that's why I'll create a new layer and apply the black color with the roller brush there. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the eraser and use it to draw shelves on the black background. Similarly, let's apply color to the battened wooden ceiling and the other wood finishes in the drawing. Let's add the final textures to the other wall. We can toggle the perspective tool on and off as needed to color and draw. Use the color black with very low opacity to highlight the tile joints and create shadows.
consider the light source when coloring your objects to correctly uh, show the dark and light surfaces and uh, depict shadows. Using a darker marker, I will now add wood grains and uh, details to the ceiling. I'm going to use black and gray for the counter. So I'm going to use the marker brush and the uh, roller brush to color these areas. I'm going to use the black fine lines to show the shadows. So I'm going to use the eraser tool like a white pen to highlight certain areas. So for the basin sinks, I'm going to use a very light gray to highlight the dark and light areas. You can experiment with the different pens and brushes that Trace offers, uh, which allows you to effectively depict different textures and materials in your drawings. So for the mirror, I'm going to use a very light uh, gray with the roller brush and then I'm going to use the eraser tool like a white pen. I will uh, decrease its opacity and then draw vertical lines on the surface to show reflection on the mirror. Similarly, I will show the glass effect on the glass partition. Now we will add in some more details to make the sketch a bit more lively. I will reduce the opacity of the eraser to about 50% and draw uh, artifacts and accessories on the shelf against the black background. Once all the details are complete, I will use the roller brush to layer areas showcasing light and dark surfaces and adding some highlights to the drawing. Let's add in the final details and the lines. I will also use the black marker pen and the eraser tool to add details, accessories and make certain areas of the sketch stand out. Adding in the final lines and the shadows. Now 
Once the majority of your sketch is complete, review it and decide if you would like to add in some more elements or color to enhance uh, the look. Adding in some accessories for the shelf uh, behind the bathtub. Adding in some sketchy baby lines. To draw the view outside the window, I'm going to use the plant stencils. For the final step, I'm going to add some accent and emphasis lines to enhance specific areas of the sketch. It will bring in more definition and depth and make the drawing stand out. Before finalizing the sketch, uh, have a look if you want to add in any more details or elements to it. Let me just add the final flower vase to the counter and now I'm pretty happy with my sketch. So this is how the final sketch should look. Uh, you can find uh, my Mofolo trace drawing file in the download link below. I would love to see your creations so please don't forget to tag me on Instagram at the sketchy pen. Um, I hope you enjoyed this workshop and thanks for watching.